Hello, my name is Clint Halstead, and this is a tutorial for GURBV. GURBV is a, is a utility that will allow you to view Gerber files. I use this for uh, PCB design. I use EagleCAD software to, to design the uh, schematics and the board, and then I send the board off. Uh, and then I have the actual Eagle generates the Gerber files for me. And then I send those Gerber files to the board shop. But before I do, I always like to view the Gerber files with a viewer just to make sure that the board house is going to build exactly what I want. Um, in order to uh, use Gerb V, first you have to uh, download it and install it on your computer. In order to do that, you have to just type Gerb V uh, version 2.6.0 into Google. And uh, you can find it several different places, but one place is. A website called sourceforge.net and you click on this file here it's gerbv inst-2.6.0.exe go ahead and download, click on that file and download it then it should show up in your downloads folder um, if you're using uh, <coughs> if you're using Google Chrome it'll show up in your downloads folder um, and here's the file here gerbv inst-2 2.6.0.exe double click on that and install the file the program then once the program installs you should have to have this icon it's called GERB V and then if you double click on this icon then GERB V will open and you go to the file you go to the menu at the top of the screen and you go to file and then open layers click on open layers and then you descend to where your Gerber files are at. In this case, I have them in Dropbox, Clint, Consulting, Corp. And then I have a folder. My project folder is DIM100. Inside of DIM100, I have my Gerber folder. I always like to make a folder to put all my Gerber files. Uh, and then in order to, so these are all my Gerber files. They all have different varying uh, extensions on the end of them. The way I grab these is I left click on the bottom most file and hold the button and then just drag it all the way up to the top. And then all of them are selected and then I can just click open. It opens all the different layers. Okay. One thing I can do to get to the layers to turn layers on and off if I want to, then I can uh, go to this tab the file folder tab called layers and click that <clears throat> I can also come over here and move this window over to the left a little bit that, that makes my viewing a little bit larger <clears throat> my viewing screen then I can zoom zoom fit there I can go ahead and turn off every layer if I want just cl left click on the little check mark and make it go a little square and make it go away the check marks go away now if I want to view my outline, I just click left click my mouse button on the little square. It makes a check mark there and then I can see the outline of the board. If I want to see my component layer, um, layer 2, layer 15, and the solder layer. So those are the four layers for my board here. Then if I want to see my silk screen layer, I can click placement. That gives me my the text that's going to be printed on the, the boards. And then this is the bottom side placement, which I have none. Then I have a solder stop layers, <laughs> and that completes my Gerber files. Also, I can zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel, or I can zoom fit by clicking this button on the top menu bar. Um, the other utilities I have are go to tools and measure. This is a neat utility. I can, for example, measure the distance between these uh, two pads. Just click, left click your mouse and hold and drag it and then just let go. And then at the bottom of the screen it, tell you, it tells you that it's 100, it's 75.42 mils. Or I can change that into millimeters or inches. It gives you the dimensions at the bottom. Also, I can pan by clicking this little uh, this little cross button. Okay, or I can go back to cursor, and you have zoom in, zoom out, 
zoom fit, and then of course you can print them. Anyway, that's a Gerv V version 2.6.0, and uh, thank you very much.